Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. I am Dr. Ram. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to discuss why oral vitamin B12 is of no benefit in pernicious anemia. We are saying pernicious anemia, it is a kind of megaloblastic anemia, but in here there is no benefit of vitamin B12 when it is given orally. Let's try to understand what is the reason behind this fact. Now, before going into the topic per se, let's revise a bit about vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, it is also called as cobalamine. Whenever vitamin B12 is taken in the body, so suppose a person is consuming some amount of vitamin B12, it reaches the stomach. There, what happens is, it usually binds with a factor. That factor is called as intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor. This usually binds with vitamin B12 and both of them, like both of them go to the ileum and gets reabsorbed. So, this, pay attention, this intrinsic factor is very, very essential for binding of vitamin B12 as well as for the reabsorption of B12 in the ileum. If this intrinsic factor is not there, obviously there will be vitamin B12 deficiency in the body leading to megaloblastic anemia. It could be due to various reasons. But what happens specifically in case of pernicious anemia? In pernicious anemia, there is atrophy of gastric mucosa. What does it mean? So, whenever the gastric mucosa it becomes atrophied, that is the cells are atrophied, that is they become non-functional also. So, their secretion of all the substances like the intrinsic factor, HCL, all of them reduces. So, all of them starts to reduce. So, there is a reduction in intrinsic factor, reduction in HCL. So, what will happen to the vitamin B12 absorption? We have seen here, intrinsic factor is very, very essential. If intrinsic factor is not there, vitamin B12 reabsorption is not going to occur. So, what is the main problem in this patient? The main problem in this patient is not the availability of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 might be available, but it is the reabsorption and combination with intrinsic factor. So, in this patient, if I, we start giving him more and more vitamin B12 through the oral route, will it be beneficial? Obviously, again it will go to the stomach and the intrinsic factor is not available in pernicious anemia patient. So, whatever vitamin B12 we give it through the mouth, it is going to be of no use. So, what will be the treatment for this patient? The answer is very simple. We are just going to give them parenteral administration of cobalamine. That is our vitamin B12. So, whenever we give B12 directly in the intravenous lines, it is going to be reabsorbed in the body that is it is entering the circulation already so it is going to revert the anemia that is created by this pernicious anemia i hope it's clear thank you for listening if you have any doubts drop in the comment section thank you